Now at 10 o'clock, a former track coach at Northeastern University is facing disturbing charges. Steve Waith is accused of trying to solicit naked images of former players. Good evening to you. I'm David Wade. Investigators say he gained access to their phones during practices. Ken McLeod is live at Northeastern Forest tonight. And Ken, the FBI is trying to see now if there are more victims. Yeah, David, former women's track coach Steve Waith didn't last very long here at Northeastern, just five months. And now federal prosecutors say it's pretty clear that coaching was not his primary interest. Young female athletes here told federal investigators that Coach Waith would borrow their phones during practices and meets under the pretense of recording their performance, but they'd see him scrolling through their photos. That's just super disturbing. Federal prosecutors say Waith's crimes began with a sham body development study in which he told victims to send pictures of themselves showing as much skin as possible to get a custom analysis. It does sound like he was manipulating them and kind of taking advantage of the fact that he was their coach. No one should feel that they are being taken advantage of, especially by people in power. The second scheme say the feds was more complex. Using anonymous social media accounts, he's accused of falsely telling young women that compromising pictures of them were circulating online. And if they'd send him similar pictures, he'd do a reverse image search to erase them. It's um, absolutely tragic to hear that, like, that Northeastern hired someone like that. Truth is, he was hired at Northeastern in the fall of 2018 and terminated five months later for inappropriate conduct toward female student athletes. But he's also coached at several other schools. The fact that someone would, you know, put their athletes, uh, kids who they're kind of supposed to be mentoring and protecting, and to use that power as a uh... It's really sad. The feds say Waith even cyber stalked a Northeastern student, and when they seized his computer, they found hundreds of nude and semi nude photos and have so far identified 10 victims and are asking for others to step forward. I mean, it's awful. As athletes ourselves, you know, we got to trust our coaches, and you should know that they have your back. Waith was arrested and arraigned in Chicago today. He'll eventually land in federal court here in Boston. The charges against him carry a possible five-year prison sentence. Live at Northeastern tonight, Ken McLeod, WBC News. Ken